Uh, I just caught another little second half against North Texas. I don't really know what happened, but it didn't hurt very bad. So what, uh, what do you think about this matchup here coming up UAB? They're good. They're, they're very good. Um, you know, they lost Cam Moore and their other big guy from last year, I forget his name, but I think they're better kind of with the lineup and the style they're playing now. And uh, You know, they scored a lot of points in their opening games. They're going to run it at us, so uh, it, it's a good matchup for us. Grant, what did you learn from that first game? What does this team need to work on? You know, we got to continue to improve defensively. That's always going to be um, what we're working on. And then, you know, kind of tighten up some stuff offensively, getting a little more fluid with our ball movement and um, playing inside out. So there's a lot of things to learn from that first game that we can tighten up and be better with. You know, you guys always have good attendance here. You know, this year you're setting records already. How, how nice is that as a player to know that you're going to be here and you're going to have crazy crowd support all season just based off of what you guys did last year. Yeah, it's unbelievable, especially, you know, to open up like that, set a record for first game attendance. It's really unbelievable, and we're very blessed to have the arena and the fan support we do. So um, it's just an added bonus. It's, it's a really cool advantage to have. When you think back on it, how important was that game? It was pretty important. Um, it kind of set the tone for us in terms of road wins and getting that confidence early. and. You know, we didn't really know who we were yet at that point in the season. We went down there in a tough environment and um, found a way to win. And I think we kind of built off that game. So it was important to come back, kind of having that first road win and get some confidence going for our team. There was a game you won in a drastic style than the previous games. Exactly. Yeah, the previous. Yeah, the, you know, the one and six and games that out of or whatever. And then we were seven and one. That kind of started with with that game right there. Like I said, getting that confidence, having a new group, and you know, executing down the stretch was kind of what we did last year. So that game kind of started us off. Talk about Chapman. He had a rough first half, settled down, no turnovers in the second half. What did you see out of him? Yeah, he just came out a little wound up. Yeah, there's going to be ups and downs in them. New point guard in. We expect those kind of things, but he found himself in the second half, started making easier plays, and you know he's got to continue to build off that as the season goes on. Talk about this gap defense you guys are playing. What you like about it? What it kind of allows you to do that maybe you couldn't do last year. Well, I think personnel-wise, for what we have, it, it's the best fit. Um, but I think we're doing a better job, really sticking to the principles of that, not breaking out of it, and making sure it's five guys playing defense instead of one guy doing his own thing, and leaving guys out on an island. So. Um, you know, like I said, I think it's the right defense for us to play, and we got to take value in it every night, and helping us get stops and get wins. I have a kind of a quirky question for you. I think it's 75 points uh, the fans get Godfathers. Uh, should it be uh, upped because uh, you guys are easily getting that? Well, we didn't get it last game, so uh, I don't know, actually. And we don't have Ross Rennie anymore. He was classic for hit. <laughs> the Godfather. The Godfather's guy last year. I don't know. I think 75's pretty manageable number to get everybody pizza so as a player do you guys think about that ever <laughs> no I mean no you're definitely not supposed to I know I read some Joe Kim Noah they get like free Big Macs if they get to 100 and he launched a three and they were up like five with 20 seconds to go and Thibodeau made him apologize so I mean I guess if you're up a little bit you think about it but for the most part no who is this year's godfather I don't know that's those are tough shoes to fill more than anything. I guess that's going to have to kind of emerge on its own. Uh, somebody can make that shot. But he did. nobody did it better than Freeney. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> These guys have some different strengths. How important is it this time of year to place a lot of different styles, teams, to kind of get you going into, you know, as you get deeper into the season than you've seen? Yeah, it's important. Um, and especially for us as a team being able to change gears from team to team because that's a lot of what conference comes down to, the way teams are going to play us, the way they play offensively. Uh, UAB, yeah, they got some guys that can shoot it. They're going to run it at us. Um, and they run a, you know, a lot of stuff on the offense, a lot of different sets, a lot of different movements. So it's a lot different in you know, places. And we're going to have to be ready for that. And, and like you said, as the season goes on, that's kind of steps you have to take as a team, being able to change from different styles and be dialed in and into the scouting force and stuff. A little bit. Um, I don't know. It's out of our hands now, so I think they'll have a good year when they kind of get some figured out. Surprising one.